Oh. Your. God. Hey guys, I'm back. This is Albino Echidna. I'm clicking on things I really shouldn't be clicking on right now. Because I'm kind of stupid. But anyways, I'm back after a really long hiatus. I've had a lot of college to do. I'm going to click... St I'm going to go ahead and click on things right now. Start playing. And... Oh, okay, let me first introduce the game I'm playing. Anyways, I'm playing Dwarf Fortress. If you haven't heard of this game, it's... Amazing. It's probably my favorite game that I've played this year. That I've come across this year, anyways. So, when you first start this game, you have to create a big... You have to create a world first, which I've already created a world and I've played a couple of games, and I really don't want to create another world right now. So you can see this is my world. Um, there's it's kind of hard to read, but I hope my mouse is showing up because that's moderately important. Anyways, so you can see to the far right where it says world. I hope you can read that. That's kind of my world world right now. I can click through the different regions of it, and, oh man, this is going terribly, but I don't want to restart it right now. Anyway, so, as of right now, I need to pick a place to start, and this is going to be a really weird game to kind of let's play, because it's going to start out slow. For the first couple of episodes, mostly because I need to find things. So, I'm going to go look for a location. You can In the game, you can find a location. And it says right there, if you can see in the top corner, it says find desired location. X dimension is... Okay, X and Y dimensions are just coordinates. I don't really care about those. However, savagery, because I'm pretty bad at this game. Not bad, but... I'm pretty mediocre at this game. I'm going to go ahead and click... No, not high. I'm going to go ahead and click low for savagery. And evil, I'm going to gonna click low as well. I'll explain what those two mean later. In fact, I should write myself a reminder to explain those later while something else is happening. I'm going to do that right now. Uh, writing it down. Writing it down. Writing it down. Writing it down. Uh-huh. Evil. Okay, close enough. Alright, so those two things I'll explain later. Alright, and now I have elevation, which I don't really care about that either. And now I have temperature. The last game I played was in winter, and if you've played Dwarf Forges before, during during the cold weather, your water freezes up. And because I didn't make a well in time, my uh, my people straight up died of dehydration. So I'm going to click uh, medium for that. Rain, I don't really care about. Drainage, <clears throat> uh, it's, uh, whatever. Fluxstone, I have, I'm not going to lie, I have no clue what a fluxstone does. Aquifer, um, when, you're, when you first start out, Dwarf Fortress, you might not want an aquifer near you. Um, no, I'm not going to do that this game. Uh, river, I do want a river because water. Shallow metal, I will take some. Deep metal, I don't give a crap. Uh, but I do want, I want a chance for that. Soil, I want some soil. You don't want too deep a soil because you do eventually want metal and stone. And then clay... Oh, whatever. And so from here, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to click search. And it's going to start searching. Right? About, okay, it's searching. So you see it's searching 2 of 81 right now. 3 of 81 right now, I mean. And this might take a while, actually. So I'm going to pause the game. Well, not really pause the game, but I'm going to pause this recording and then come back when it's found a couple of candidates. Because I'm pretty sure nobody wants to really watch its search through 81 squares of stuff to do. So, I'll be right back, guys.
Okay, guys, I'm back. It's, I know it's only halfway done, but I realized I said it earlier, and I can go ahead and explain some of these things. Alright, so savagery is actually pretty easy. Savagery is kind of, how is the wilderness going to be like? Okay, guys, actually, let's go ahead and say this beforehand. If I say anything wrong about this game, go ahead and berate me in the comments so I can get better. Um, if I say anything false, fallacious, wrong, liable, just go ahead and tell me I'm stupid, call me stupid, call me dumb, call me a piece of shit. Just let me know what I said wrong and I'll fix it. Um, but anyway, so what I believe savagery is, I believe savagery is how the wildlife is going to be. Like, specifically the wildlife and some of your uh, surrounding areas. Like, there are goblin civilizations in this game, so you probably don't want to be close to those because they will destroy you. Um, <clears throat> and then evil. I know for a f not for a fact, but I know high evil kind of makes ghosts and skeletons and vampires and all that other crap kind of show up. And I don't want to deal with those because <laughs> my friend started this game too and he started in a place of high evil because he couldn't find anywhere else to 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 embark. And a freaking a bolt like a moose skeleton came to life and started destroying all of his dwarves. And that really pissed him off, so it I mean it made me laugh because my dwarves were doing fine at that point. Um Let's see here. Elevation. I think we all know what elevation is. Temperature. We kind of know what that is. Rain. Oh, okay, suitable site. Sweet. Um, that's actually, that is a, that is a straight up C. Why would I want to be in a C? Uh, okay, so I'm going to browse the results right now. Uh, desert. <laughs> no. Okay, it's still a desert. Mm, that's no, oh, actually, this is almost exactly what I wanted, except for the fact that there are aquifers. But, uh, I forgot to ask for trees, and I need wood. Yes, yes, go ahead and make the jokes, but I do need wood. Where's my, there we go. So anyways... The pure desert, sand desert, temperature temperate, trees scarce, ah, that sucks. Other vegetation scarce, that also sucks. Surrounding serene, that's actually pretty good. I might just, I might do this just because I don't feel like dealing with the wilderness just destroying me. Uh, so stream is called Wax Worn. That's pretty cool. There's little soil, which, did I want that? I'm going to say some or little. I don't remember. Uh, there's an aquifer, which I'll deal with that when the time comes. There are shallow metals and deep metals, so that's okay. In fact, oh, that's pretty good. Um, holy crap, guys. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and embark. If you have selected an area with an aquifer, it might be very difficult to abstain, obtain stone here. Well, fun is losing. So, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, play now or prepare for the journey carefully. How about we play now because it's been nine minutes of me just talking right now. Which, if you guys want to listen to that, you can listen to the smooth sounds of my voice, maybe. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I'm going to I'm gonna try to keep these videos, like, 10 to 15 minutes long. Oh, wait a second. You've arrived after a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond your harsh... Beyond. Your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all of Enot Lilum. There are almost no supplies left, but with stout labor comes sustenance. Whether by bolt, plow, or hook, provide for your dwarves. You are expecting a, a supply caravan just before winter entombs you, but it is spring now. Enough time to delve secure lodgings ere the dingoes get hungry. 
A new chapter of dwarven history begins here at this place. Monolizazak, paper blizzard. Strike the earth. So, that actually, that might actually be a good title for this. All right, oh my god, where am I? All right, so the first thing, let me go ahead, go, let me go ahead and give you guys a lay down of different things. This little middle section is where all your hotkeys are. That right section is a big overlay. And the left section is where we will probably be paying most of our attention. And that is where everything's happening right now. So if, if I hit K, it'll bring up the individual cursor. And you'll I can go over little things. This little X, little yellow X is me. So you can see I'm over this little, uh, little buffalo bull. Ah, the stray water buffalo bull. And he's tame. So you can see things like that. There's a stray cat. He's tame as well, even though he's stray. I've got Xilub Babnuzidib, the fish cleaner. And let's see what we've got here. Miss Tim Rodomazuz, expedition leader. I'm probably not going to say these names anymore because they're hard as hell to say. Except for maybe... Nope. His last name is terrible. Um, so yeah. Instead of going through every, everybody like this, which is kind of sort of a waste of time, I can bring up everybody by hitting you. So right now I have seven citizens, six pet and livestock, zero others, and no dead or missing, but the year is still young. So right now... I have a miner who will probably be doing the, the brunt of the work for like the first couple of episodes of this. I have an expedition leader who will probably not do a lot right now. I have a woodcutter, which there were scarce woods, so nothing's really going to happen there. A stone worker, a jeweler, a fish cleaner, and a fisher dwarf. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up my designation. Actually, I'm going to see kind of what's around me right now. Um... What is in here? So, I hope I'm not moving too fast. I move kind of fast with this game, kind of because you kind of have to later on. But right now, I need to set. I need to figure out if I can chop down. Oops, that is not K. That is U. Okay, so right now, okay, I'm gonna tell. Nope. That is too far. So, I'm not sure if I should explain how to play this game. There's a, there's a lot involved, and there's a lot I don't know. But you'll, be see, you'll see me go to this area a lot. It's the designation place. Designation place? That's stupid. But anyways, I hit T, and it says chop down trees. So I'm probably going to send my woodworker to do that, which is probably a shitty idea right now. Um, because I need my miner to mine. And let's see here. Where where do I want to start? I have no clue. This is actually this is very new to me, guys. Well, it's new because I've never started in a desert before. I've always started on a mountain, and right now that's pretty far away, isn't it? Like, that's pretty far away from my guys. Okay, I need to start. Okay. 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 So, 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 so right here. All right, so I was saying little, little three, three by whatever path. Oops. Little three by whatever path into this place. And I need a place for my dwarves to kind of, you know, just chill while everybody else is doing work because I don't want them to stand out in this desert. Uh, a little bit bigger. And so, I have a place for them to mine right now, and some trees to chop down. So let's see what they do. I'm going to unpause the game, and let them go ahead and get to work. Let's see here. Okay, so the woodcutter and the miner, they're picking up equipment right now. And let's see them get to work. And here they go. Oh man, they're moving fast. So, like I said, please stick around with this game because it will get ridiculous and fun as soon as I build a fortress. And this is like the very beginning of the game, so it'll be kind of slow. There's only seven dwarves. 
I know I've gotten up to like 120 dwarves before, before everybody died of dehydration, which was hilarious in retrospect, but rage inducing d during. So please stick around while this happens. Um, okay, Miner. Miner's doing work right now, and he's chopping down trees. So while he's chopping down trees, I'm actually going to uh, set up a little stock hold for wood, so that everybody else can have kind of a little, uh, have a little job right now. And I'm actually going to move it pretty close to uh, where the f where the hell did I start? Okay, that's why did I start so far away, guys? Why didn't you stop me? Why did you not stop me? Yell at the screen more. Okay, so I set up a little stockpile for wood. Dwarves are going to start moving the wood that the woodcutter just chopped down. And hopefully my miner doesn't... My... Fuck my miner. Okay, go back to mining. Because some sometimes when you tell your dwarves to set up stockpiles, everybody will drop... They will lose their their fucking minds. They will lose their goddamn minds and go ahead and do that. And my miner was supposed to be doing this job and he didn't. So there we go. That's a simple mistake I made that I'll probably do again later. In fact, let me go ahead and... Oh, they're all done. Alright, so the pretty much the last thing I'm going to do before I leave let you guys go because this is running like kind of long. Like I said, I want to keep these 15 minutes. But anyways, I'm going to set up a little meeting area for my dwarves. And then I'm going to have my miner not dig, not dig down here. Most because I don't feel like dealing with that. But I'm going to have him go a little this way. And he's going to make a He's going to make like a little area for them to stockpile goods right now. And since I think I'm going to go ahead and go hover over this. This is yellow sand so I can actually plant things on this. I'm going to go ahead and build another area for them to go ahead and start plotting some uh some mushrooms. Some mushrooms. And the miner is going to, you know, He's gonna do whatever. He's gonna really do whatever he feels like, just because that's what they do. That's what dwarves do. They drink and they do whatever they feel like, and whatever they feel like might not be the best thing for them to do. So, anyway, so I've set up that meeting area. So all the dwarves who really aren't doing anything, so everybody but the miner, they're gonna go ahead and start to pile in there. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna let this. Let everybody get in there. What are you doing, buddy? What are you guys doing? Get in there. Stone worker. Fish cleaner. Get in there. Even the cats are in there. Why aren't you guys in there? Miner. <laughs> Finish your first task. So anyways, this is what this game is going to look like for the first couple of, uh... First couple of videos. Um... Let me know if I can improve anything about this. <clears throat> Leave me a comment. Tell me to stop doing this. It's too slow. Don't actually tell me that because I'm probably going to... This this is going to get fun later on. I think people will appreciate this. Um, but yeah. So right now I'm just going to let this guy finish. Finish these two little plots. They may take a while. But he should be finished by the next video I make. So I don't know why I almost said love you guys. But I'll see you guys later then. Bye. Damn, I talk fast. I need to slow down. I need to not talk so much. Actually, I need to keep talking, but... I need to... Miner, what are you doing? Finish that one. At least finish one of these so I can actually log off and stop what I'm doing. You know? Because they really want a 20-minute video of me just babbling right now. <clears throat> yes, they do. Okay. Anyways, guys, I'm going to let this miner finish out, and next video, I will start with him completely finished mining out these two little uh, areas. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll chat with you later.